Now we go on to the third part of our question, uh, which is the, the projectile part. And uh, always, as you always start off with it with a good diagram. Let's draw the system as it is at the moment. So at this stage, we have uh, a plane that's at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. And we now know that something is projected down with, uh, with a speed that we call V. So in the last part of the question, we call that V. It was the V of the collision. So we call it U for this part of the question. This is our speed U that we're projecting down the plane at. And uh, that U, uh, we now know what it is. Because as I said, it's the V from the last part, and it's a vector. So U is equal to, uh, before we do anything, again, make clear what, where the X direction is, or the Y direction. X is down the plane. Because we're moving down the plane, it's convenient to call X in that direction. And Y is perpendicular. This means that U is, uh, well, the X part of, of it is U over 2. And it's along the X direction, so it's plus. So it's U over 2I. And there's also a Y part, VY is VY here, which is U over 3 over 4. And that's also, also in the plus direction. So it's plus u root 3 over 4 along the j direction. And that's our starting point uh, for our projectile. And once we realize this, uh, the rest of the question is relatively straightforward uh, because we know, projected, we know it's treated as a standard uh, projectile on an inclined plane. This means we have to resolve gravity so gravity is the only force acting downwards. So we resolve the acceleration g along our new x and y. So this is going to be g cos 30, which is g u 3 over 2, and g sine 30, which is g over 2. And uh, now, as we always do with projectiles, we resolve separately along I and along J. So along I, or the x-axis, same thing. Uh, along I, U is equal to U over 2. And we do along J, over here. And along J, U is equal to U root 3 over 4. Acceleration. So acceleration is the g component. Now if we look along i, it's here. It's, it's in the plus x direction. They're both the same direction, so it's, it's a plus g over 2. And acceleration over here, in the y direction, well y is going up, but our component is coming down, so it's a minus. It's a, be careful with that minus. It's a minus g root 3 over 2. And that's the hard part over. Now it's just... Uh, Really finishing off using your V equals U plus AT on both sides. And of course your S um, equals U plus AT, UT plus half AT squared. So V equals U plus AT, uh, which is uh, V is equal to U over 2 times, uh, U over 2 plus G over 2 times T. And uh, V over here is U root 3 over 4. Uh, minus g root 3 over 2 times t. And finally there's the s, s equals ut plus a half a t squared, so it's u over 2 t plus a half g over 2, which is g over 4 t squared. And s here is equal to u root 3 over 4 times t minus g root 3 over 4 t squared.